the connection between the cause and, and the causelessness is intriguing. Actually, there's many things in spiritual life which are intriguing. And not all of them find such an easy, clear answer either. I guess there's not meant to be a clear and easy understanding of anything. It's called Sintananda Prabhu. It's a miracle man. Even to the maximum degree that he roams around like a mendicant for such a long time. And then he marries with Janana Deev and with Vashiva. He has one offspring whose name is Mirchand, who also became a famous spiritual master. All of them are like Parshadas. They belong to a higher realm. They don't really belong to this world of uh, rationalization and uh, attempts to enjoy or attempts to renounce or attempts to do anything but enact a divine pastime for the blessings and for the for the hope of God. We cannot make it out but we can notice that it has been accepted by all those who are really together, together people. Like our Guru Devas, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like all his associates. So Nityananda Prabhu is very, very important. Even it has been discussed in Chaitanya Chaitamita. If somebody doesn't have faith in Lord Nityananda, then Lord Chaitanya doesn't like him. He, he will be rejected. It's the story of the brother of Krishna, Skaviras Goswami. He doesn't have full faith in Lord Nityananda. And then Krishna Skaviras leaves house disgusted. No, I can associate with you if you don't have good any trust in Sri Nityananda. So Sri Nityananda Prabhu is the divine miracle man and he's also called Abdut. Abdut can be also called something like unpredictable. What he does is out of the common surprise action if it says if Nityananda comes out of a liquor shop then you don't think that he was drinking liquor there. He had some special business there. I remember in my Sankitan days when I used to go door to door that sometimes I go in a liquor shop to sell a book. Sometimes I go into the slaughterhouse, to the butcher shop to sell a book. And I'm standing there in front of a butcher surrounded by meat and offering a book of Srila Prabhupada. I'm thinking of Nityananda Prabhu, this is your business. You have us engaged in such strange, wonderful activities. And sometimes I, I, I saw bloody butchers pulling out donations from the butcher cash box with bloody hands to handing them over to me. And I go, God, what is this? This is the way of Nityananda. Once I was walking on the street and a young man approached me. I approached him and we had to talk, thank you, don't talk, okay, and as he was good fingering for a donation for the book I gave him, I did a little casual talk, well, what are you doing, no? I said, I'm looking for a job, I just arrived in the city of Berlin, so what's your job? Oh, I said, I'm a butcher, and I said, no, my, my jaw dropped. I butch. And he looked at me. You don't believe me? And he put down his bag and he opened his bag. was filled with butcher knives. It's my professional equipment. And I saw the well, it's, 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 it's terrible. Butchering the animals is not, not very good. 
What do you mean it's not for you? You read this book. So, I go on on Senketan, up and down the Kurfürsten Damm, and he's sitting on a bench and reading Prabhupada's book. And the day goes by, five o'clock, I'm about to go back to the temple, he's still sitting there. So I, how you like it? He said, it's fantastic. So I said, where are you going to stay? Oh, he said, I haven't taken a place yet for tonight. I haven't, I haven't uh, to get a hotel or something. So I said, you want to come to our temple and check out what, what this is like? This philosophy? He said, can I come? Would you receive me then? He said, come on. So this poor person, he got initiated together with me because I wasn't initiated at that time. Prabhupada hadn't come. He ended up taking Prabhupada's initiation. Huh? So, this is Nityananda Prabhu. He is he's the one who is giving us participation in his causeless mercy. And for this one experience, he, it made my life. His name became Maharati Prabhu. And when he was initiation, initiated, Prabhupada said, and no more killing of animals, So, <coughs> Nityananda Prabhu is so merciful. There's, there's so many stories of the unlimited mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. It's hard to, there's no end to them. The, the Ananda. Kevalanda, Kevala Ananda. They're full of joy and they're unending. The stories of Sri Nityananda's grace and acting in our life, in our surrounding. <coughs> Even though he appeared 500 years ago, the real Nityananda story, that will never end because without Guru and Guru Tattva, nothing of this would have manifested. So, Nityananda Goranga, Nityananda Goranga, they just go hand in hand, you know. Heart in heart. And separate Krishna Balaram, Ram Lakshma. Hmm. I haven't heard such a thunder in a long time. So I could, could just go on and talk about Lord Nityananda now, ongoing, but. This is the second thing we are celebrating today, and actually we are celebrating the uh, Samadhi Mandir of Madhu Mangal. Nosotros teníamos algunas cenizas de Madhu Mangal, ¿cierto?